this word is all centered around just knowing that this is your season to reap a harvest. This is your season to receive the glory and the goodness, despite what your last season looked like. So let's get into it. Things you avoided, you will go back to and you're going to have victory over them. So these things, it's going to be undeniable who sent you because in the natural the bills should have piled up the people should have left the insecurity should have gotten in the way all of these things should have happened right and i can just show you guys this is what i was referencing to in my past videos that these are all bills that i was worried about like every single one of these are bills that I was worried about and had ignored and just put off because I just didn't want to deal with it, right? Sometimes things just get big and you just worry about them. So this is an example. One is paid. And these were just, I didn't write those for the video. I was literally going through these today. Paid. These two total up to $1,000 alone. And we can just go through all of these, right? This is something I was supposed to owe, $200. Um, all of these things that had piled up, right? God already took care of. So when God tells you that you're gonna have victory in these areas, you're gonna get to go back and realize that the balance is clear, that you're more secure in areas that, what were some of the other examples he gave me? that the people that should have left, they're there, that um, all of these things that should have been in the natural, he has placed his favor on and placed your name on so you have the victory over them. So go ahead and go back to the things you need, that you know you need to take care of because they're already worked out in your favor. And these are things that you currently are running from, but again, Jesus is giving you the victory over remember what god calls you so right now god wants you to remember what he calls you don't remember what the last season made you feel like or the things that made you question about yourself or the insecurities it brought up or what the people said about you god wants you to remember what he's called you even before that season the things he called you he first lets you know that he's a redeemer and he's a provider but he also lets you know that you are righteous that you are his child that you are a winner you are the head and not the tail you are victorious um so don't let failure what perceived as failure stop your rhythm and that's based off of galatians 6 9 let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up so many of you feel like because you took your eyes off of it insert here whatever it is for you that you will not reap well because you will that that you won't reap well so because you feel like you took your eyes off of something you feel like you're not going to reap well but that's not true because the test was in if you would turn from god or not and god wants us to make it very clear in how we view what is turning from god and what is struggling with flesh and sinning and falling short those are two different things turning from god is rejecting him saying that he is not who he says he is um doubting him as in a way of like i don't believe in god that's rejection that's rejecting god and you didn't do those things so because you didn't do those things you actually did the opposite you spoke life over things you rejoiced when you were crying about something that hurt you sought God even when you didn't want to. You spoke life over areas that appeared to be dead and brought a lot of sorrow and pain. You did all of these things. And because of that, you're going to have a double up on everything from previous seasons and seeds. So whatever you've planted, cried over, prayed over, fasted for, anything in these areas, God is going to bless you and double it up. Even when you feel like you left the word, God did not. So as I was writing this prophetic word out, 
I was listening to some gospel music and the song was saying that he watches over his word to perform. So he watches over his word when it's planted, when it's growing, when it's sprouting, as it's developing, he's watching over everything, right? Even if the gardener walks away, God is still there watching over it. And I just got chills. Yes, Lord. The next part actually goes into that. Um, you're going to reap even for what you didn't labor. And my example of this is this video of me in the garden with my friend Stephanie. She's a professional gardener. Um, I don't know when their season starts, but I'm just going to assume it's, we're just going to say whenever spring season starts, right? So let's say that that's April, late April, early May. She's been gardening since then. And I came out to her garden a couple weeks ago and I was out there planting stuff. We set down new soil, we watered things, we removed um, different soils that weren't taking the way they needed to. We just did a lot of things. We like coupled plants together so they can grow better. We kind of brainstormed for how other plants can get more sunlight. We did all of these things. I was out there for three hours. She's consistently been out there for five months, five or six months however long we want to view that. And wait, is that right? April, May, June, July, August. Yeah, like, so she's been out there consistently. I come in, I work with her for three hours and she um, sends me home with carrots, potatoes, vegetables, all of these things, a zucchini the size bigger than my head. My head ain't that big, that thing was huge. And so I got to get set home with things and it was off of what she had harvested right and at the time when god was having me use this video this week i didn't even know what he was preparing me for um but not only that she spoke about a flower that only takes like every 28 seeds like two out of 28 will maybe blossom and so five months into her gardening there was still just a bulb it hadn't fully bloomed yet it was literally just the bulb and she's hoping it is going to bloom and a week later she sends me this picture of the flower and it's bloomed and so a week after us being out there and gardening i get to see something that she's been working on for five months i get to see it in a week's time come up and this comes from the scripture john 4 38 i sent you to harvest where you didn't plant others had already done the work and now you will get to gather the harvest. Hallelujah. You'll get to gather the harvest of other people doing the work, whether that's through mentorship, guidance, financial counseling, you trying to buy a house, you whatever it is, friendships, relationships, spiritually, career-wise, whatever your advancement looks like, you're going to go in and reap a harvest from things that you didn't even plant. And that goes into another word God gave me about the houses in these neighborhoods very established and well nice houses that he's going to elevate people into and take down those that are not humbled in his name right you're going to walk into spaces and claim them and people are going to wonder how people are going to wonder how did this happen so quickly how did you walk in and be able to capture this room of people be able to turn no's into yeses yes jesus that is what's going on in this season this applies to areas where you struggled with sin, you may have wrestled with follow through, you lacked self-confidence, you repeated cycles, you may have judged other people. It may have just been a judgment that just came natural to you because you felt like you were in the right or you had the legal right to judge people in this way. And the last one that just holds my heart is you may have withheld forgiveness due to pain. So something that really hurt you something that really really hurt you you couldn't even see past your pain to forgive even if you wanted to forgive it was something that had a hold on you because of how badly it bruised you how badly it ripped you apart whatever it was that you have that space of unforgiveness you're freed from it and i get chills i've recorded this video like i said five times i get chills every single time i talk about this part because i know that is specific and that is for someone that that pain 
that pain that is holding on to that unforgiveness, you're going to be freed from it and you're going to see a more joyous and fruitful life because God has released you from that. Next, you thought the freedom was in something or someone else in the last season. So you thought that this person or this title or this thing or once you get to this spot, you're going to have freedom. Like that was your signal of freedom. But God is showing you that it's always been him. It always will be him. And he's the only one that that freedom comes from. So in this next season, you're going to operate a lot different. It's not going to look like any way that you've communicated with God, that you've sat down with God, that you've just walked in relationship with God. It's going to look completely different because you realize what the source is. You've always known he was the source, but you know on a different level now. So it's going to change your trajectory of everything, of how you see things, of who you allow into your life, of who you allow to speak into your, like, into your situations, of everything. Everything is going to change. Your blueprint is going to change. Um, that doesn't mean the struggle won't come because it will, but it will not defeat you. So in the past, we used to have to go be pulled back to launch forward. Whereas in this season, we don't have to be a bow and arrow where we're pulled and it's like God is like struggling to sit us down and pull us back so we can do what we need to do. Pain, um, pain, dishonor, shame, fear, self-sabotage, low self-esteem, those things will no longer be our motivators. We're going to go from being bow and arrows to rockets. Rockets don't have to go back anywhere. Rockets go straight up. They go to new heights that people don't even go to. Most people don't even get to. We're getting into our rocket mode. We don't have to be brought back to dark places to enjoy the good. In Jesus' name, we don't have to do that anymore. So struggle will be there, but it won't defeat you. It won't entice you to come back and go back to those spaces it won't even get the same response that it used to get from you it used to give reaction you won't even give a reaction the way that you used to you're gonna praise god and keep it moving because last season you praised god and you kept moving even in the darkness and look at where it's getting you you're about to see where it's getting you i am so excited for these testimonies for this season um defeat i mean the struggle it won't even launch you into the same cycles it used to. So it used to just take like one little, oh, she's back in her cycle. Or one person to hang up on him. Oh, he's back in his cycle of being angry or whatever your cycle looks like. It's not going to happen. It's not happening. It The, the struggle is not going to take us to those spaces anymore. It doesn't have the power to. And lastly just like the struggle won't defeat us like no weapon formed against you will prosper and you don't even have the opportunity to be the weapon anymore you've been so used to like the enemy sometimes don't even have to do anything other than just kind of like piss you off a little bit and you become the weapon against yourself for self-destruction self-sabotage going to old toxic habits going to toxic people like you you're not even you're not even allowed to be the weapon even if you try to you're gonna fail at it god is not allowing that he won't even allow your thoughts to be against you it's not happening no weapon formed against you will prosper not even you and i'm so excited because this is going to be so good it already is so good it's already happening if you're not aware of this yet then get ready to prepare because there's things in this that will help you get through the season if you've already come through the darkness and you're walking into your promised land and into the light of things, you felt that resistance has been lessened. It's not as hard to do things. It's not as hard to get in your word or to worship or to commit to the thing he's asked you to commit to. There's things, and obviously not everything is gonna be perfect, but you felt that there's areas where it's, it's not as hard to get into the spaces that God has called you to. This is, this past season is the last season that you'll have to be frustrated about who you are and how you operate. And I just heard that for the first time in this video, um, out, out of me doing it all the other times. So just know 
a lot of us got to spaces over and over and over again that was our cycle coming to an end where we were sick of ourselves and we are being delivered from that in jesus christ's mighty name we're not going to get to that spot with these things now we ain't no telling what the future looks like but with the things that we've continuously gotten to this space of being sick of ourselves with the lack of whatever we were struggling with it's not happening anymore so i want you to put your hands on yourself and just say i just in jesus name thank you jesus i am set free from every cycle that has withheld me that has stopped me that has made me want to sabotage or be pulled back to spring forward i am no longer attracted to darkness i seek light i receive light i receive all that is good for me all that you have given me god and i'm so excited to walk into this new season with you i thank you for making every high place low and every low place high and that just means that things are leveled out that means that things are are good the high place isn't as hard to get to the low place isn't as low as it used to be so i thank you jesus i thank you for having us in your hearts and on your mind and written in your book i thank you that you've thought about each and every one of us and you have a plan for each and every one of us and your plan is good i pray the helmet of salvation over us the crown of glory, the breastplate of righteousness, the robe of righteousness, humility, and honor and humbleness. Oh, sorry. The robe of, of humility, honor, and purity, Jesus. The sword of the spirit, the shield of faith, and the belt of truth, and the shoes of peace. Lord, thank you for launching us forward as we will be on our rockets and no longer on bow and arrows that need to be pulled back into the darkness i thank you that we are launching into new things that our gardens are full and plentiful and that we are in the season of milk and honey in jesus name amen if you feel like you want more support feel free to join me on saturday mornings i am holding a prayer session it's a zoom call you can hop on don't even have to have your camera on just come and pray and ask for prayer if you're interested in that you can sign up on my website at breakthroughswithbree.com backslash prayer it's just going to ask for your name and your email so i can be praying over you as well there i also pray over everyone in general but just to have that designated space of prayer i think is amazing so if you're interested in that head over there otherwise i will see y'all next wednesday bye guys <laughs>